So the photo walk started right from the car park. It was beautiful winter light and I noticed a little figure on the beach. It was really quite bright still though, so I just made sure I had a really fast shutter speed, really narrow aperture to make sure I captured the highlights. I had the intention of shooting in black and white and I'm really happy with the results. Next we headed down past the famous fishermen's huts on the seafront of Hastings. These old wooden shacks that used to store fishing nets I believe. And I really loved the boats that were here, the colours of the building behind them in blue and then the boats with the sort of red and pops of red on there. I do love a pop of red in my photography. So really it was just a question of waiting for a subject to walk past to snap the shot. Then spent a bit more time wandering around the huts. The light was a bit flat at this point, the sun had kind of gone behind the clouds for a bit, but that was fine. I was just starting to look for pops of colour, shapes and texture, and then shooting between the, the huts to kind of give a bit of uh, nice framing as well. I then kind of headed into a back area of the huts and I saw this guy come out and pushing a trolley. There's a top tip, you know, if you want to take a picture of someone but you don't really want to feel embarrassed to make it seem like you're taking a picture of them, just keep your camera up and keep pointing it out while they walk past and make it look like they've walked into a shot that you're already taking. So yeah, I noticed that he'd gone into this sort of warehouse um, and it was likely he was going to come back out quite quickly. So I just sort of waited there briefly because I thought it would make a really cool shot to have him come back through and um, pushing past those kind of flaps there. This next shot I didn't get on the GoPro, but you can see the scene behind this bus shelter here. That's where I took the next photograph. Heading down more into the old town, and I walked past this kind of weird vacant lot had some strange sort of sculptures in there and some text and stuff. I thought it would make quite a cool sort of still life photograph, maybe not necessarily a street photo, but I thought it was quite an interesting one. I really like the text on this window and the reflection, especially the amber sand in the text. So I thought that would make a really cool graphical element and I just needed someone to kind of walk past that was reflected to add an extra texture and extra element to the shot. Not the best shots ever, but I was just getting my eye in really for the photo walk here. I really enjoyed the texture and shapes of this old antique shop in the street and I noticed the mirror at the bottom and I thought that would just add an extra bit of interest to the photograph if I could get someone walking through past and reflected in the mirror. So it really was just a case of being patient, waiting for people to kind of interact with the scene and walk past, and then snapping the shot when I had the right subject uh, reflected in that mirror there. Again, I really enjoy street photography that incorporates reflections. I think it's a really great way to add texture, contrast, layering and, and more visual interest really to a scene. So I waited in this spot for the right subject again to kind of walk past just to add the extra element to make the, the photograph come together. Now this next shot all came together quite quickly. I noticed this car, which I thought would be a really interesting foreground, reflecting the buildings. And then there was a gentleman walking um, past across the road there, which I wanted to freeze in front of that nice sort of pink um, shuttered shop front. I really like this photograph. 
I think it, it works really well. It's well balanced. I like the foreground. It's really interesting. Nice sense of place with the buildings reflected in there and colour and texture as well. And also the framing. And then across the road, you've got that gentleman. I like the way that I've captured his uh, stance. And the icing on the cake for me is that pink shuttered shop front has got sort of a white shape um, to the right of the, the walking man and in a very similar shape to the way that he's walking. So for me, it just adds an extra layer, um, an extra bit of visual interest, a bit more of a story, almost like a sort of ghostly type apparition in front of the, the person walking past. So for me, this is a really successful street photograph that I'm, I'm really happy with. So this is where the light started getting really good. A beautiful, low, soft winter light coming across from the seafront, and it was just gorgeous. I was in this uh, dilapidated bus shelter. I could have probably spent all afternoon here, to be honest, but I was sort of on a holiday with my partner, so kind of couldn't really do that. But anyway, I did have a bit of time here, which is a lot of fun. So I really enjoyed the texture of the windows. I love abstraction in my street photography, and this is, was the perfect location with the beautiful light to capture some abstract, uh, interesting seafront photographs. I put my favourite ones that I took in this location just now. We went for a nice long walk along the seafront and I really liked these little shelters that were dotted along. They were sort of in an art deco style and they had nice frosted windows that you couldn't quite see through, but you could still see shapes. So I did spend some time trying to get some shots, but it wasn't really that successful. I did, however, find this one shot here that I think is quite nice and uh, it was just a, a nice reflection of the day and the light that we had on the beach. I really enjoyed this scene with these two people on the beach who had interesting coloured hair and clothing and there was no one else on there. So I knew there was a cool shot to be had here but I couldn't quite make it work, it was just coming out a little bit boring. So I just spent a bit of time here trying different angles, using the railings in front of me to create more framing and depth and layering to the, the photograph and the picture that I ended up with is probably one of my favourites from the day, I just really enjoyed the framing of it. So when I'm out on a street photography walk, I'm always looking for interesting objects that make for good subframes uh, to then put a subject inside of. I did a whole video about it, I'll put it in the description below, check it out if you're interested. For this particular shot, there was a person looking out to sea, and I used this sculpture to create what I think is a really nice photograph. The light was just so nice at this point, and actually I think I missed a shot or two here. Could have probably spent a bit more time 
uh, in this location with this nice orange wall and a beautiful soft light. In fact, this guy walking past just now might have made a quite a cool shot there. But anyway, I, I missed it, but turned around uh, just to kind of see if I could get uh, a shot looking back. Uh, it's not the best shot ever, but it's still quite a nice, colourful image. The light was spectacular, the wall behind had beautiful texture and colour, and it was really a case of me being a fisherman for a while in this spot, and just waiting for the right subject to walk past. This guy came past with his dog, and his shadow made for a lovely balanced image that I think is really cool. So the day was almost over and it was time for one or two final shots of the day. Similar to some of the shots I got earlier on on the seafront, I really enjoyed this bus shelter with the kind of foggy textured windows and there was this couple sitting having a chat um, on the bench. So I spent a bit of time here taking a few shots that I think really rounded off a great day of photography which I really enjoyed. If you enjoyed today's video then please go ahead and give it a like, shoot a comment down below what you think, uh, it really helps spread the video to more people to enjoy and if you like my content please consider subscribing as well if you'd also like to check out some of my other videos i'll put a link um, at the end of this video just now but otherwise have a great day and i'll see you in the next one